Alright, today we're going to be putting a water valve inside of a model 5500 mechanical transplanter that was uh, not equipped with it. So, first of all, we have to remove the gearbox assembly and the inspection cover using a half inch wrench. off and set them off to the side. We'll reinstall them in a few minutes. First thing we need to do is to accommodate the water valve mounting. The valve, water valve mounts underneath the the uh, pivot bolt for the wheel fork adjustment. So we need a half inch, three quarter inch socket, and a half inch socket. Then we replace it with a longer. 2 inch bolt to accommodate the more uh, water valve mounting tab. Loosely install the water valve down in the frame and get the water trip assembly put together short side to the actuating arm and the roller assembly. Put this in just finger loose for right now, just set it in there. Then get the water valve mount over the, the bolt inside the frame. There's not much room, but it, there is enough to get it done. Okay. With that installed, we will get the water trip mount bolted in. And we'll come back to the water valve in a second. Tighten that. Now would be a good time to install the 5 8 machinery bushing to promote the harmony between the two points that we have to do next. I get the uh, water valve tightened where it needs to be. Make sure that your outlet is in line with the hole in the side of the frame and you can install your valve fit. To be finished tightened later. Tighten the water valve up in the frame. valve is mounted. Now in between the inside the frame this is a water trip duckbill we call it. You put this in and just finger tighten it just for a second. We're going to finally adjust that in just a minute. Just snug it up using the 7 16 wrench. Now, the water trip arm needs to be all the way over and then our float, the floating rocker goes on under the eccentric and then we have our dial. Get the dial, make sure that the cam is all the way over to the, to the outside of the frame. Line your key up.
So here's very important. With everything in here loose, the duckbill loose, pull this water pump rod all the way up, all the way to the top of the water pump stroke. Make sure that your roller is up against your eccentric that operates the kicker. Snug this up good and tight. With this held up all the way up, tighten your duckbill on the water pump water trip rod. Tighten that up good, and now it should cycle just fine. There, it is fully adjusted. And we'll put the gearbox assembly and the inspection cover back on the frame. You want to check to make sure your gear mesh is right when you tighten this down. Oop. Take the gearbox down. And then install the inspection cover. The water valve is in place, ready to go. Tighten the inspection cover. You put your uh, shutoff valve goes on here to the water line going to the tank. But that's how you put a water valve in a Model 5500 mechanical transplanter that was purchased without it.